Hi, I'm Victoria Bowman, and I've written a book called You Gotta Have Guts, The Natural Way to Enhance GI Health. Let's talk about colonoscopies today, and I'll read a little excerpt from my book. The medical procedure for looking at the inside of our colon is called a colonoscopy. If they only look at the lower left side, it's called a sigmoidoscope. There is a new procedure called virtual colonoscopy, which is available in some larger cities. The good news about the regular colonoscopy is when they are looking, if they find something like a polyp, it can usually be removed during the procedure. The bad news is that occasionally the perforation can happen to the colon. The good news about the virtual colonoscopy is the imaging gives the information without having instruments inside the colon. The bad news is, is if they find something, another procedure has to be scheduled to remove the polyp. With regular screenings, polyps can be removed in the early stages. Research is non-existent regarding colon hydrotherapy and colonoscopies or colon cancer. Since there is no data concerning the effectiveness of colon hydrotherapy and reflorestation reducing polyps, I will share a testimonial from a client. MJ was a 54-year-old female and this was in 2002. She had a polyp removed 10 years earlier and it was non-cancerous. She was supposed to repeat the procedure every five years, but without medical insurance, she couldn't afford to do that. She chose to go the natural route of cleansing with colonics and reflorestation. Two years later, she was able to have the colonoscopy and everything was clear. I certainly understand her predicament. Instead of doing nothing and avoiding the costly procedure, she did what she could proactively and when she could afford it, she was re-examined. There is a way to combine natural therapies with conventional medicine, and many times one plus one is far greater than two. Let's use the benefit of multiple modalities. Thank you.